Hello, welcome guys. This is Navshin Taj, Assistant Professor, Department of CSC, SIT. So here we go with the next topic in our implementation strategies that is polygon rasterization. In order to rasterize a polygon, we have uh, different algorithms. The first variety is called as the inside outside testing algorithm. So as the name says, here we are going to test uh, every point, each and every point in a uh, in an area to find which of the points in that area are inside the polygon and which of the points are outside the polygon. So when we decide whether a point is inside or outside, then we go to fill up the inside points with the given color and the outside with the background color. The first approach in within this inside outside testing is called as the crossing or odd even test. So here again the name has the direct meaning with the explanation. Suppose we consider a point and uh, if it has to be the inside point of the polygon then a ray emanating from that particular point going to the infinity must cross an odd number of edges of that polygon. Else, if the ray crosses an even number of edges before reaching the infinity, then that point must be the outside point of the polygon. So here we replace the rays with the scan lines and we count the crossing of the polygon edges to determine the inside and outside points. The next method in this inside outside testing is the winding test. If you want to color a star leaving its middle portion then we can use this approach. The winding test considers a polygon as a knot being wrapped around a point or a line. Traversing the edges from a given start point and going around edges in a particular direction until we reach the start point. So you have to take up a start point and then traverse the all edges of the polygon going around all the edges and in a particular direction until we reach the starting point. The winding number for an arbitrary point is the number of times it is encircled by the edges of the polygon. We count clockwise encirclements as positive and the other as negative ones. Point outside the star or the polygon are not encircled so the winding number is zero. Points at the surroundings will have a winding number one and points at the center will have a winding number two. So all points which are in the center of these parts will have a winding number 2 as it would be encircled twice and the points that are at the corners will be having winding number 1 and all other which are outside the polygon will have a winding number 0. The next strategy to deal with the concave polygons is the OpenGL tessellator. OpenGL guarantees correct rendering of polygons only if the polygons are convex. 
then to render the concave polygon it uses a tessellator in order to tessellate a given polygon into a flat convex polygons usually the triangles a good tessellation should produce sets of triangles that can use supported features such as triangle strips and fans for a simple polygon without holes we start by declaring a tessellator object and giving it the vertices of the polygon here is an example of a simple tessellation first you need to create an object of the tessellator glu library has a tessellator class so create an object of that and then call glue uh, new test 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 in this is a short form for the tessellator to create a new tessellator over here with this constructor and then you are calling the function to delimit the polygon description this delimits polygon description it takes first a tessellator object and then the data re related to the polygon so here we are passing null as we are going to take up the details later here in the for loop then then the next thing is in we have to take up the delimitation of a contour this function glu test begin contour delimits the description of a contour and it takes one parameter that is the tessellator object so after calling these two we are going to describe the complete polygon vertex by vertex so from one vertex to another vertex we are going to generate a tessellation so as we have a begin then we are going also having a end pair with the end of contour and also with the end of polygon OpenGL uses winding test to identify the inside and outside regions and also to color with different patterns using the tessellation parameters the next method to the basic rule is if we if we decide that a point is inside the polygon then if we decide a point is inside the polygon then you have to color it with the inside fill color this conceptual algorithm indicates that polygon fill is a sorting problem where we have to sort all the pixels in the frame buffer into those that are inside the polygon and those that are not from this perspective we have different polygon fill algorithms using different ways of sorting the points the first one is called a flat fill then we have a scan fill and last one is the odd even fill So here we have a look at the flat fill algorithm. So we will consider two colors. One is a foreground color and that is a background color. Background color is applied to the points that are lying outside the polygon and even the points which are yet to be colored within the polygon will also have the background color. So we have to consider two colors here. We can use foreground color to raster polygon edges 
using Brazen Ham's algorithm. So first we color up the edges by using the Brazen Ham's algorithm. Then we need to find an initial point x comma y inside the polygon called a seed point here then we can look at its neighbors recursively coloring them with the foreground color if they are not the edge points here is the pseudo code so you pass first a seed point nothing but the starting point then you read what is the color detail of that pixel at this point if at all it is white white is considered here as the background color then we color it with black color then we have to recursively look at its neighbors so basically there would be four neighbors left right bottom and top so the left one is x minus 1 comma y right is x plus 1 comma y then bottom x comma y minus 1 and top is x comma y plus 1 so recursively we look at the neighbors and we get the information of the color at that particular point if that is a white color or it is the background color then we um, <coughs> color it with the foreground color that is black the next method in this fill and sort strategy is the singularities so this is a algorithm where we count the intersections of the scan line with the vertex as either zero or two edge crossings The vertex scan length intersection must be counted as one edge crossing in this particular case. So like this we find all the boundaries of the polygon and then once the boundaries have been identified depending on the number of uh, intersections those are considered whether it is zero or two edge crossing or it is a one edge crossing we go to fill up the points inside the polygon 